Hey, it's Retired at 40. Thanks for joining me today. As usual, I have a very simple Instant Pot recipe for you. Today we're doing an Indian dish. It's called Chana Masala. There's only a handful of ingredients. It's mostly spices that add to the flavor. But I guarantee you, once you have this once, this hearty dish will be in your main staple of food. All right, let's go over the ingredients quick. We need chili powder, turmeric, cumin, garam masala, coriander, some olive oil, uh, a little bit of salt and pepper. You need uh, a can of coconut milk, one can of diced tomatoes, two cans of garbanzo beans. You can use the, uh, the raw garbanzo beans, just make sure you, that you cook them first in your Instant Pot. It can actually do it real quick for you. You'll need a couple cloves of garlic, fresh if you have it. This is from our garden. Um, you need one onion and then you need three large potatoes or several smaller potatoes and then of course your Instant Pot. If you've never joined us on this channel, consider subscribing. We do some gardening, some cooking, some grilling, some food preservation, some self-sustained living and you get to journey with me and my family on our retirement at the age of 40. If you like the content we provide, make sure and give us a thumbs up. You can always feel free to give us a comment in the comment section. We'd love to hear how stuff turns out for you or if you have some tips or if you just want to say hello. Now let's make some chana masala. First thing we're going to do is we're going to turn our Instant Pot onto saute and we're going to add one tablespoon of olive oil and we're going to let that heat up. And then we're going to dice up our one onion and two cloves of garlic. I'm using a little extra garlic because we love our garlic around here. We're going to put our onions and our garlic into that hot oil. We're going to cook those until they're translucent. While these are sauteing, you just want to give them a stir every once in a while. And then while I'm waiting for these, I usually cut up my potatoes. I leave the skins on and just cut off any kind of funky areas on the potatoes, but you can also peel them if you want to. And then as far as your potato consistency, you can do big chunks or smaller chunks. It doesn't matter. They'll get cooked either way. Um, I do kind of somewhere in the middle of the road. I like about that size chunk on ours. Once your onions and garlic are cooked, you just turn your Instant Pot off so this doesn't burn. Now we're going to go to manual and 15 minutes. While that's warming up, we're going to go with two teaspoons of cumin. And then we're going to go with two teaspoons of coriander. And then two teaspoons of garam masala as well. And this is what hits it with all the flavor. Next we're going to do a teaspoon of turmeric. One teaspoon of chili powder. And then we're going to do a teaspoon of salt. We mix all those spices into the onions, get it all evenly dispersed here. Then we're going to add all of our potatoes. All right, once your potatoes are in, just try and coat those with the spices as much as you can. And then we're going to add in our diced tomatoes. And you want the all the juice to be in the can, so don't drain it. You want all the diced tomato juice in there. Give that a mix. Next we're gonna add our coconut milk. Usually this is kinda in here good. It helps to have a spatula. And then last we're gonna add in our garbanzo beans, chickpeas. Make sure if you're using canned that they are rinsed well before you put them in. This is always one of our go-to meals because it's so fast to put together. Uh, it's, it's inexpensive to make. Uh, you don't have to prepare meat for it, but it's still very filling, very hearty, and it's ready in 15 minutes, and you can make it in five minutes. So we're gonna mix all this stuff together, just get everything mixed well, and then we're gonna put our lid on. Here's a close-up of what it looks like before our lid goes on. And this stuff goes excellent with naan. 
If you put it over rice, it's really good. Make sure that your valve is closed. Mmm, check that out. Well, that's all there is to it. 20 minutes, you've got a meal that'll feed a family of four, or maybe more, or five. If you add some naan and some rice, you can, you can stretch it out a little bit farther. This is Retired at 40. Remember, live life simple. We'll catch you next week.